He needs to reposition that Stalker on the other side. The Stalker can take out... There goes Stalker with the range, take out the Zerglings. And uh, with this range, actually, he can actually block the ramp and take out at least some of these uh, Spine Crawlers. Oh, no, that Zell's going to go boost. down. He could Chrono Boost yeah. these Immortals. He's got 55 energy. He could Chrono Boost twice. He could Chrono Boost out an Immortal so fast the Immortal could just blow apart this Spine Crawler. He needs to use that Immortal now. But it'll take no damage. Go for the Spine Crawler. Oh, go. Oh, go. Block the ramp again. Block the ramp again. He just needs to just... Oh, the there it goes. The Immortal finally... There it goes. The Immortal taking out that first Spine Crawler. He needs to block the ramp. Oh, I think he has no energy on these sentries. And this could be very bad. These All these units that he has right now are very vulnerable against sentries. Stalkers, he has to pull the pros. One zealot out right now. Zealot actually doing a very bad rally and running around. Zealot's going to get taken out by these uh, these zerglings. And I think uh, actually Hob doing very good position positioning himself as units between buildings. So this the uh, the zerglings couldn't do any surround. He does lose the gateway and his cyber actually is in the yellow right now. Does get a second gateway down. He is popping up another cyber over the back of his face, which is good. Uh, but an another spine crawler going down, and uh, I need to focus that down. Very good force field actually by Han. Does lose that first cyber and will lose a, a pylon, but there is a very good chance for recovery. Oh no, the Zergling is actually attacking the sentry right now, and I uh, need to back that immortal up, get some uh, one zealot out. He will lose that other stalker as well, and uh, it's gonna be very frantic. He actually has a lot of minerals queued up. He should pop down a few more gateways, um, just to get units out, uh, and, and be using Chrono Boost just a little bit more. 95 energy, 96 energy over on his Nexus. Chrono Boost those, that immortal out, Chrono Boost the warp gates, and uh, pump out a ton more units. Wow, very hectic right now for Han. I know he's in panic mode here. Uh, one thing he's not doing is he's, he's underestimating how well that Immortal could take out those Spine Crawlers. Er, too late yeah. now, but at the time, he could have easily taken out both of those Spine Crawlers with that, number, with that Immortal, and uh, Immortals just do unbelievable those damage. Up. And now uh, he is getting a couple of Zealots out. Plus one attack is finishing for the Zerglings, and a lot of Zerglings in production, but a lot of Zealots are here, and now a few centuries, two centuries, he can block off his ramp once again. I encourage... Two centuries, uh, two immortals. Oh, and that's good not job. a very good block off there, but now he's Wanted. focusing down the spine crawler. Transfusion. Yeah. But look how quickly those two immortals made short work of that spine crawler, even with the transfusion going down. Now Zergling's trying to find their way up. Oh, Zergling's so shoot getting the way up. And that was actually his plan the whole time. These immortals are going to get knocked down. One immortal's already in the red. It's going to get taken out, and oh, it's looking very, very bad for Han. I think his uh, forceful placement was, uh, was a, 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 you know, it's a fair decision try to block off uh, the ramp as much as possible, but these Zerglings now in his base are going to take out his probes, and uh, I think it's, that's going to be it. Yeah, unfortunately, more Zerglings is going to continue to stream in here, and this is the worst nightmare for a Kurdos player to have this happen. And just, he was so close, just one more force field might have been enough to, to would have been enough to hold that ramp, and he could have uh, kind of solidified and, and kind of taken a breath, but... Uh, as it was, you know, he, the, the Zerg player only has 14 drones, so if, if Han had been able to actually just stimmy that off a little bit, he might have stood a chance, but as it was, uh, they got in there. Yeah. I think Han had so many minerals, I would have popped down that forge a little bit earlier, get some uh, photon cannons in, uh, just for extra defense, especially before the creep came up. Um, and, and you were right about those mortals, those mortals, if he had focused them and micro them just a little more, they would have, with a high ground advantage, they would have taken out those spine crawlers so much quicker. Yeah, Harris commenting a little embarrassed by that play, but I mean, he had a ch he had his chances. Shib did not execute that as as excellently as any as could be done, but he he still was able to get through there with just those mass mass speed links. And uh, yeah, there were there were definitely some times where Harris had a shot, and I, I think he just underestimated the immortals and uh, just and he did the best he could there. And, and definitely a Chrono Boost would have helped as well. But when that's happening, I mean, I'm, I don't play Protoss, but I know when you're in situations like that, it is extremely uh, stressful, and you're just trying to think straight, and it's, that's hard enough to do. Yeah, every decision is so important. You don't want to make a wrong decision, and you want to make you you really have to uh, just increase your actions per minute, and uh, I mean, cheese is hard to, uh, hard to count. Absolutely. And uh, let's see if we can get another match going, and if not, maybe we'll see if Brad's around, and we can get him to take you on. It looks like he's uh, unavailable right now. Yeah, I think... Uh, Yes, I might be able to do a, a show match, and then I might take off to get some lunch and uh, actually take a shower this morning. It is <laughs> still relatively early over That's on the true. West Coast, 1, 1 p.m. That's true. true, true for day. Saturday. Day getting underway a little bit. All right, looks like Cryptic is ready. Cryptic did win our last tournament, so it uh, should, be, should be a good match for him as a Protoss player.
Do we have, uh, do we have any of the familiar names? Ikaj and... Um, you know, I haven't yeah. seen Ikaj today, and he's been he's been almost every time playing in our tournaments, ah. so I'm not sure where he is. Perhaps he's just really into that TSL. And uh, Domarin is just uh, watching, I believe, although he won so many of the early ones. He is uh, just playing <laughs> fantastically, though. He's won... Uh, he got fourth place in, I think, last week's Reddit tournament, and uh, wow. still in the top... I think he was top 25 U.S. North America servers in Masters League. So he's he's shaping up to be in the Grandmaster League once that uh, is introduced in just a couple of weeks. So Thanks, everybody, for watching this Giant Bomb Community Tournament. We are going to keep going. I'm joined by Norm Chan of Tested.com. We're just casting a few of these games here for you today. Yeah, glad to be here. Always down for some StarCraft playing not as much on uh, the recent week as I would have liked, but I uh, definitely want to come in. I mean, if you don't play for two weeks, that game passes you by. I, I know. It's been hard. I haven't been able to play quite as much either, but when I come back, it always feels good, and I'm like, yeah, this is this is where so much of a good community is and uh, in, in StarCraft, and there's a lot going on in StarCraft right now with all the different leagues that are kind of popping up. Some people thinking maybe it's almost too much with the uh, NASL being announced recently. And yeah, they actually announced all the, all the players for that. Yeah, I've been getting emails from them, I guess, about that. So it's just been it's been hitting America and the European scene now too. It, not only just GSL. And uh, we're just waiting for the next game. Hopefully, get an invite soon. I'm being invited by Will to join a game with Cryptic. I don't know if it is your your partner in crime, Will Smith. I don't think. No, uh, Will, Will Smith has does not play StarCraft. I did not think Played. it did. No, he does not. <laughs> I do see a witch ago actually in the uh, the Jai Bomb cha channel. It's a very familiar name as well. Yes, yeah, I believe he got top five finish last time, and he's. I'm sure. I think he stands a really good chance this this year or this month. Excuse me. Uh, for going all the way here, so let me suggest you to this game. Oh, there you are. There it goes. Yeah, and for all you players who are watching, make sure you're reporting your games on the challenge site so we can keep those brackets up to date. And uh, I believe we still have a feature now where you can kind of uh, pick your votes, vote and see who you think will win each game, kind of uh, March Madness style. So uh, definitely check that out. And we are ready, so we'll go ahead and uh, get into this game. And PvP. Ah, well, I, 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 I knew we wouldn't be able to get through the entire day without seeing one of these, so here we go. Protoss versus Protoss uh, on uh, GSL Crossfire. High-level diamond player for Will, and Cryptic is also a high-level diamond player, both in their top eight. Wow. Isn't Cryptic in Master League, or maybe? Could be wrong. Could be Master League. I, I, I saw the shiny blue, and it was yeah. blinded. Yes. Well, both both high-level players indeed, then. and uh, trying to Very excited to see this match. I mean, one of these players could take it all. I, I think so, too. Especially since Cryptic returning from last, last month's tournament as a winner, and Will, I don't recognize the name, so he could be a uh, European player or just a, a late entrant. Let's take a look and at so, the Yeah, let me pop up the, uh, the overlay. Oh, control add not working for me for some reason. It's not working for me either. I don't think it works on these maps is actually why. Uh, I think on these some of these older, like, user-made maps. I don't think that new feature works as much. You might notice also that the upper right doesn't have the minerals. I'm a little disappointed yeah. with that. So it looks like we're going uh, a little bit old school here with the with this map, but uh, we'll, we'll enjoy it nonetheless. So it looks like you have your natural expansion here, and you can just go down the ramp. You've got your natural there, and off to the left there are some destructible rocks right into the main, kind of blistering sand style. Mm -hmm. You can have someone break down your rocks and be right in your main base, and of course blistering sand's no longer with us in the map pool. Yeah, a little too too much favored uh, for Zurich, I think. That map, so the, the back entrance, taking down those rocks, made it way too easy to attack from all directions. Yeah, uh, we do have uh, Cryptic, actually, uh, in the green uh, top left, uh, two hawk position, scouting first, uh, and checking out his opponent's base. Uh, both players popping down a gateway approximately the same time, Cryptic just, just a little bit ahead. It's all about these little things in a mirror matchup, um, how fast your micro is. And actually... Um, Will popping down a, a simulator a little bit early, uh, but it's fa fairly standard, both players. And so far, very similar openings, although it looks like Cryptic trying to kind of SimCity his base a little bit here, wedging everything in right next to the Nexus. Mm -hmm. uh, 
do you do you recommend that in a PvP, or do you just kind of throw your buildings down? I, I throw my buildings actually. Uh, obviously, you don't need to block the ramp, but I I like to put my uh, pylon actually uh, halfway between the ramp and the uh, the nexus, and then put the gateway just a little bit in front, uh, out of range, so units below the ramp can't shoot it, but close enough that units, you know, if there is a rush, I can get units out to the front um, and save them just a few precious seconds. Absolutely, that's, that's a good call. I mean, um, looks like both players cybercore down almost exactly the same time. Looking at the map once again, we do see there are two Zelnaga towers. The middle's kind of a crisscross of uh, pathways here. There's a couple different ways you can go. Will saying Day 9 made me do it. I'm not sure exactly what he made him do, but perhaps they're trying a new PvP build that they talked about on the latest Day 9. Day yeah, 9. we actually have a, a second gateway already down for Cryptic. Uh, two gate could be a four gate. Four gate's very popular. Uh, very popular for uh, for Protoss right now. And uh, we actually both players popping up Zealots. Uh, Cryptic actually is Zealot killing uh, Will's uh, Scouting Probe. Uh, and uh, I think... Uh, I think Cryptic scouting probe uh, staying alive and returning back to base. Yeah, nice job getting that probe out, and good job killing his opponent's probe with a zealot, no less. And uh, actually, a very fast robo facility coming down from Will now. One gate robo, so uh, deviation coming already. So, what does a one gate robo usually mean, Norm? Uh, one gate robo usually means a uh, mortal, but uh, if you look at this map, this map is actually really primed for Colossi. If you look at after the natural, that ramp, there's that little staging area. Uh, Colossi can walk across, walk around. Um, really good choke points uh, right by those. Yeah, I'm a little curious. You, you see uh, Robo and uh, Three Gates. This uh, looks like a build I would use against Terran. And uh, Three Gates actually over on Cryptic side and uh, pumping a bunch of units out. Uh, pumping actually a bunch of zealots out. The zealots are being uh, rallied to the front of the ramps, preparing for any type of uh, any type of rush. Um, yeah, not seeing four gate from these players uh, is very interesting. Maybe on this this high level four gate just doesn't work. Um, only one assimilator over on cryptic side and on will side also one assimilator. That's this is very standard four gate. Four gate you you get one assimilator. You know twenty one probes. Uh, you get your four gates. You get one stalker, one zealot, and one drone. Move up to the zelnaga. Move up to the front. Get to stay, keep the probe alive. To pop down a proxy and uh, make sure those that one stalker and one uh, one zealot do as much damage as possible. And uh, looks like I'm right over on Will's side. We do have an immortal and two zealots blocking that ramp. Indeed, we do see that. Very nice. And uh, cryptic now moving out with the second probe to take maybe this other zelnaga tower. He's got one already under control and just a lot of zealots. And he was chrono boosting out. Stalkers and now opens up uh, his three warp gates and now puts down a robo facility. So he goes three gate robo. Are we going to see an expansion from either of these players, Norm, or are they both going to be pushing out with a force soon? Three gate robo. Um, I mean, both players doing three gate robo, but of course, Will has robo out so much earlier. Does have two immortals actually pumping out an observer right now. Uh, very smart. Uh, I could. Uh, I think we're going to see expand. I don't think we're going to see aggression. If you look at uh, Cryptic's army, those zealots and stalkers are not going to do so much. Uh, we don't see any proxy pylons. And uh, I think uh, expanding, whoever expands first in Protoss PvP pretty much wins if you can stay alive. And with this map, with it being relatively easy actually to defend your, your natural, just if you keep your uh, units in that, sta that raised staging area, um, you will be able to win if you expand first. And I think there it goes. There it goes Will's uh, uh, probe popping down Nexus. There he goes indeed. Actually, Cryptic Ro Robo Bay going down. So Cryptic making a beeline for some Colossus here off just one base mm. and still no sign of expanding. This Is this going to be some kind of all-in type play, do you suspect? One, one base Colossi is very, very risky. I mean, if you fail with that, uh, if there are good defense, like Immortals actually counter Colossi fairly well. So if you're all-in base, all, all in for uh, with one base Colossi, you can only get really one or two Colossi out, and Thermal Lands don't even think about it. It'll take way too long. Uh, there's a good timing uh, opportunity right now uh, because Will does have his Nexus uh, halfway done. He will have to pump out a ton more drones. He's still making a ton of probes. Um, I don't know if uh, probe production actually is, has stopped over on a, on Cryptic side, so there is a timing opportunity. Yeah, they are even in the probe count right now, 32 all, but as you said, Cryptic seems to have stopped making probes. He's probably going to be get gearing up for Colossus. In the area. There's a Colossus in production now. No Thermal Lance, as you said, way too expensive with just one base. And uh, meanwhile, Stargate has come down for uh, Will, so we'll be looking for, you think, a Void Ray or Phoenix from that Stargate? Uh, I, would, I would say Void Ray. And there it goes. Uh, Void Ray, and, yep, 
And you know what? Uh, if you look at the uh, Will's uh, Observer, actually right on top of Cryptic's Army, he actually didn't, chose not to move in, does not know there are Colossi coming out, doesn't see any uh, 